Welcome back to the channel. In uh, this video, we are going to look at how we can implement uh, drag and drop within just vanilla JS. So typically, um, you'll see a lot of drag and drop in uh, different libraries for frameworks like React or whatnot. But uh, I just want to show you how you can do this in a very few lines of code using just straight vanilla JS. So that is uh, what we're going to be looking at today. So let's just get into this here. So I have three files here, uh, a main.html, and this is just a blank HTML with uh, no markup right now. And then we have a script tag right here, main.js, and then we have a link tag to a style sheet. And I just have a few styles right here. Um, so I didn't wanna copy all this down, but uh, I'll have a link to the GitHub if you wanna just copy that over. So now we're going to implement this because these uh, IDs actually aren't in here. So we're going to do a little bit of uh, markup right now. So inside this body, we're going to come in here and we're just going to go like this. And we're going to say uh, we're going to have a div that's going to be a container. And then inside this container, we're going to have a, uh, another div here. And it's going to have an ID of a uh, card. And then inside that, we're just gonna have, we'll say an H3. And inside here, we're just gonna say item. And that's what we're gonna be dragging and dropping is this card here. Uh, and then below this, so we're gonna come actually below here. So below this card right here, we're gonna have another ID and that is gonna be of a drop dash zone like this. And this is where we're gonna actually um, have our drop zone, where we're gonna drop that card within. And we can actually get rid of um, all this here. We can get rid of this div and just do a self-closing tag like this. So that is gonna be uh, basically all of our markup right now. So if we wanna go ahead and take a look at this, we can open it with a live server right here. And you'll see this is what we're gonna be dragging, this items right now I'm trying to click on it and nothing happens. And this is gonna be our little drop zone. So not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but should be good for our uh, purposes right now. And that's basically all we need to uh, get this going. So now let's go over to our uh, main.js right here. And we're gonna show you how we can do this drag and drop. So let's come in here. The first thing we wanna do here is we're gonna get that card. So we're gonna say uh, const, we'll say card like this, and that will be document dot, dot get element by ID like that. And it's gonna say card right there. Then we're gonna come below that and we wanna get the actual drop zone where we're gonna drop this. So we're gonna say const and we'll call this drop zone like this and that will be equal document.getElementById and drop zone like that. So we're gonna come down below here and we're gonna add a uh, event listener to the card. So we're gonna say card dot add event listener like that. And this is gonna say drag start like that. And this is the actual name of the event. So it's all lowercase like this, like uh, all things are for these events. And then we're gonna have a function here. And that's gonna take an event like that. And then we're gonna come down below here. And inside here, we're just gonna log out that event. Like this. So this is our drag start. And we're just logging out this event. So let's take a look at what that will look like. Come over here, we can inspect the element. Come over to our console, and you can see. Oh, and you can see that is nothing is happening right here. Um, and that is because we forgot to add the draggable true onto the actual card. So you have to add this in the HTML. So let's come back over here. We're gonna back to our HTML right here. And we see our card right here. And all we're gonna do here is say draggable and that's gonna be equal to true like that. Now that enables uh, the ability to drag this. So we can come back over. We can see now we're able to drag it. We can't drop it anywhere, it just goes back, but you can see that it has the ability to drag. And then also we're getting this console over here. And on this drag event, you can see everything that's included on there. All right, so that is looking pretty good. Let's come back over and come back over to our main.js right here. And we're gonna come below here. And the next thing we wanna do here is uh, add an event listener for our uh, drag over. 
So we can say drop zone dot add event listener and it's gonna say drag over like this, have the event. And inside here, um, we have to set event.prevent default like that. So this is gonna prevent the default behavior, which uh, actually doesn't allow us to uh, do a drop event. That's why we need uh, to have this right here. So that'll be all we need for the drag over. And then we can come down again. And the last thing we need is this uh, drop zone here. And we'll say dot add event listener. And we've got to add the drop here. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, drop zone. And then we're going to say prepend, which is going to add it to um, the actual card. And then all we have to do is pass in that actual card that we want to add on the drop. So that is all we need to do. This is our full code to do this uh, drag and drop. So let's save this and come back over. Now you see we select this, we can drag it, and then you see we get this little plus icon um, to our actual drop zone. You can see we don't have that plus icon if it's outside the drop zone, but once you move into the drop zone, you get that. So you can see that, and then it actually prepends it right to that. So pretty simple stuff, um, just with some vanilla JS, a few lines. What do we have here? Uh, let's get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. So we have 11 lines of code right here, um, and you have a drag and drop functionality. So pretty cool, um, pretty simple, and uh, hopefully that's useful to you. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.